Of course, I'm Jacob Israel. You know, I called our brothers and sisters. I asked them sincerely, would they come and meet me down here? But when I found out about the Devil's Punch Bowl, I knew our people did not know this part of this history of ours. Concentration camps. People mostly associate the term with Nazi Germany, but historians say it's true. They also existed in America. During the Civil War, authorities in Natchez, Mississippi, forced tens of thousands of freed slaves into camps built in what's known as the Devil's Punch Bowl. Untouched fruit falls to the ground near the banks of the Mississippi River. They talk about there's the most beautiful wild peach groves uh, down in the punch bowl. And researcher Paula Westbrook says, like a peach, the area known as the Devil's Punch Bowl has a pit, a mass grave from the 1860s. Historians estimate that in one year, up to 20,000 freed slaves died in contraband camps below these bluffs. When the slaves were released from the plantations during the occupation, they overran Natchez. And the population went from about 10,000 to 120,000 overnight. So they decided to build an encampment for them at Devil's Punch Bowl, which they walled off and wouldn't let them out. And the damnable shame is both sides of this river, they fought for the Confederacy to keep us slaves. That's right. Mm -hmm. This was Yankee soldiers who forced our people down into these holes they did the work, yeah. and let them slowly die a crime against humanity. He says Union troops ordered recaptured black men to perform hard labor. Straight down, right here. While women and children were all but left to die in the three punch bowl prisons. Disease broke out among them, smallpox being the main one, and thousands and thousands died. They were begging to get out, turn me loose, and I'll go home back to the plantation, anywhere but there. But they wouldn't let them out. The Union Army did not allow them to remove the bodies from the camp. They just gave them shovels and said, bury them where they drop. And I'd really like to show you more of this terrain, but it's just too thick with greenery. These bluffs are also straight down, so not only is it dangerous to navigate, it's still very mysterious back there. And uh, I was really compelled in, in the thinking that nobody had ever came down here and actually prayed over the souls of our ancestors. And y'all wanna lift up some prayers here at this spot? Yeah, yeah. You wanna do that? We wanna lift some prayers up. Ready to pull out your... Uh... Blessed out thou, Yehovah God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. In Yehoshua's name, we come before you, O Yehovah, even in these last days, as the children of Israel, most high, giving testimony that you are righteous, that you are just, that you are merciful, O most high. And we come here even as the descendants of even our ancestors who were slaughtered in this place, asking and begging for righteous judgment upon Babylon, upon Esau, and upon the heathen, asking for forgiveness for our sins, and that even our servitude and our bondage has been recompensed unto thee for the blood that we shed of thy firstborn son, Yehoshua HaMashiach. Forgive us, O Yehoah. Forgive us for our sins, and even forgive our people for their ignorance. For we have sinned knowingly and unknowingly, Father, in spirit and in mind and in body. We have sinned and we have transgressed our commandments. 
But now, even as we come to the close of the 400 years of servitude, O oh Most High, even in this strange land, we pray for righteous judgment against our oppressors who seek to steal, kill, and destroy from us day and night, O oh Most High, and hold themselves not guilty. They hold themselves innocent, even as they shed the blood of our, of our sons, of our daughters, of our elders, Father, of the young and of the old, of the weak and of the strong, O oh Most High. They have shown no pity. They have shown no mercy, O oh Yah. Remember, even the blood of the saints who was slaughtered, even by the whore of Babylon as she becomes drunk off of the blood of our people, O oh Yehoah. Have mercy on us. Even gather the remnant of Judah and of Israel together in spirit and in truth. Remove even the divisions, O oh Most High God, that keep us from coming together. And let us come together in love and forgiveness and unity, Most High, and in faithfulness and in obedience and submission in spirit and in truth. We just pray on behalf of our people, Yisrael, O oh Most High, that you would cause us to stand in these last days. Hallelujah. Give us strength, O Yehovah. Pour the Ruach HaKodesh upon us, O Yah. Pour out the latter rain, O Most High. Show mercy unto us. Deliver us, O Yehovah. Open the gates of heaven unto our prayer. Yehoshua, receive our prayer. O Yah, receive our prayer. Hallelujah. Heavenly Father, let our prayer be as of, of, of a sweet incense before the altar of thy throne, O Yah. Remember us. Remember the covenant that you made with our forefathers. We repent. Forgive us, O oh Yah. We have transgressed. We have dealt iniquitously. Our, our men and our women and our sons and our daughters, we are all guilty. But we repent with the whole heart. Forgive us, Yahweh. Deliver us, Yahweh. Pardon our transgressions. Salak Banu. Forgive us, O oh Yah. Deliver us from this bondage, O oh Yah. From, from this evil, from this pain, from this oppression, from 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 all this terror, day and night, O oh Yahweh, hear us, O oh Yah, deliver us, O oh Heavenly Father, Yahushua, forgive us, for we have slaughtered you and we turned you over to the enemy, and we hope that we serve you in spirit and in truth, and that our sacrifices and our bondage and our oppression is, 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 is compensation for yours, O oh Yah, and we know that you have waited for us longer than we have waited for you. So have mercy on us, O Most High God. Cause the house of Judah to stand. Cause the house of Israel to stand, O Most High God. And as we stand, bring down the adversary. For Jacob means the supplanter, O Yehoshua. So to supplant and grab the heel of Esau, we must be on the ground. And we are on the ground. Now, help us stand up. And as we stand up, let us take the heel of this oppressor and slam him into the ground, Most High God. And let him go into the pit. Let him go into the devil's punch bowl. Let him go there, most high God. Bring righteous judgment on your Joshua. And give strength unto us.